What's going on coaches? Hunter and Sherb from Team Misfit back for another tip. Today we are talking to you about identifying when to adjust an athlete's foot position in a squatting movement. Specifically today we're talking about the front squat, but this really applies to any squat. If you're identifying that an athlete's mechanics are a little bit off, but maybe you're struggling with where to start with them. Typically when we're teaching an athlete first to squat, we'll have them put their feet, you know, roughly under, let's say under their shoulders. That's as good a place as any to start. Maybe they toe out just a little bit and then we kind of adjust them from there as we start to learn more about their kind of personal idiosyncrasies. So Sherb is gonna uh, work with a front squat here and we're gonna start with his feet in about his shoulder width stance. So this is where we would say like, hey, let's start here. Now, if you were to watch him from the side, you would notice that his torso starts to pitch forward. So go ahead and execute that front squat. His feet, if you pay attention to his feet, his feet are moving a little bit. Go ahead and do one more. And as a coach, we can kind of identify like, well, he's gonna get away with some loading in there, but eventually he's not gonna be able to stand up a front squat because he's pitched too far forward. So how do we fix that? Well, it can be, a, obviously there's a number of things that go with that front squat, elbow, shoulder, upper back flexibility. One of the ways that we can almost create an immediate correction is to adjust the athlete's foot stance. So I'm gonna have Sherb again set himself up and he's gonna go a little bit wider, and this is actually his actual squat stance because of his mobility kind of hindrances. But from here, he's able to stay a lot more upright in that front squat. Go ahead and do a couple more. Good, one more. Awesome. So you can see by just having the athlete adjust his foot positioning just a little bit, whether that's a little bit wider or maybe even adding a little bit of a toe out kind of situation, the athlete's able to stay a little bit more upright because we've created space for the athlete's hips to sit down. Now, I would advise you coaches to do this like very kind of incrementally. You don't want to send an athlete super far wide, you risk, you know, pulling something using musculature that an athlete might not regularly use. But if they have mobility issues, you can get around some of them by adjusting the position of the feet. In this case, today we're talking about widening the feet just a little bit in the squat stance. And for that front squat, that's super important so athletes can stay nice and upright and enable them to lift a little bit more weight. Give this a shot, we'll see you in the next one.